Que quita monto. Ni moi. Tanto agua que cuando uno me gana me embolicia cu. Ni nada me te patrí que tonga. Ni me escuam ni me la busiangu toca ni me la busiangu. Iga 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 peleca cuando me. Ahora mucho iga iga ya que que tuata mi ni me sanga ni yo tuata mi ni tu si juí. Nimbusi yama ni ni ni. Hata mi me sanga hata sahi. Kwa majina yangu na ito kawira muriongi. Hapa ni chuka kiongoni. Mwa location. Kulikuwa na kiza ya mbuzi. Tulipereka kwa ndume. Bandare ya kupata mtoto wa mbuzi. Adipata mtoto anafanana kama binandamu. Ie katuasha tukiwa na mzanga. Hakuwa na... Hakuwa na nyuele, likuwa na fanana na pisha ya vinandamu. Hakuwa na manyoya, likuwa smoothi. Likuwa menyua manyoya kwa science. Kama kwa migu. Hata migu likuwa kama vinandamu, likuwa kama buzi. Lakini kicho likuwa, macho ya likuwa ya nafanana kama ya paka. Kidefu likuwa kama ya vinandamu. Tulizika, atukupea mumbwa. Ilikuwa mara yangu ya kwanza kuona kisha kama hiyo. Vili likuwa meumbwa, ilituasa tukiwa na mzangao. Kila mtu alikuwa na shangaa ni nini. Wengine wakasema siji huu nani alifanya. Ilikuwa mtota ya vinandamu. Hiyo kisha, hata kwa kijiji za hii watu wanaongea wanasema huu siji ni nani anatembea na mbuzi za wenyewe. Hiyo mtoto likuwa ya vinandamu. My name is uh, Dr. Nkoroi, or if you want to, 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 to call me fully, you call me Dr. Mbae Nkoroi. I'm the chief officer, uh, livestock department of wrestling and fisheries in the county of Tharakanithi. Now, this afternoon, I'm here talking not as a chief officer. I want to talk in my capacity as uh, a veteran surgeon and a practitioner, uh, a practitioner uh, having gone through the School of Veterinary Medicine and graduated with a degree in Veterinary Medicine and Surgery. Now, the reason why I'm here today is because of an incident which occurred in, um, in the county, specifically in Cornwall, a village in Cornwall, where uh, a sheep gave birth to something which looked like uh, a human being, according to people's report. I'm here to say that having seen the picture, although I have not visited the place, and having gotten reports from my uh, workers, my, 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 my veteran officers in that place, I can assure the public, both in the Lakaniti and the whole country, that what you saw was a result of a congenital malformation. This occurs quite often in animals, and indeed, you're also aware that it occurs in human beings. Malformation are actually common. Uh, in animals, where probably are more, ex are more experienced, I would say that uh, there are various reasons why congenital mal malformation occur. Among them is actually in breeding. When, for example, you have a uh, sheep, goat, cattle, and in fact, it's very common in small animals, in small ruminants, where, for example, you can have a ingot or a ram, which cycles, and breeds 
uh, in one flock for a long time. What are, what, what are called recessive genes starts appearing in, th in that ad. And those are the main causes of uh, those mal mal malformation. You remember that even in the, uh, our African tradition, even for Kimeru, for example, we, our old fathers, our grandfathers, and our families indeed, discouraged, and still discourage people from marrying amongst themselves. You marry a cousin, you marry an extended cousin, you marry, even indeed, we are not supposed to marry even from our clans. We are supposed to get girls and boys uh, marrying from a distance. Because when you bring somebody you are not related at all, then chances of you or us getting a population devoid of congenital abnormalities, devoid of uh, problems that you all see in people will not be there. So Tafadharini, just like uh, we don't marry our sisters, our brothers, our cousins, our uh, people close to us, even animals. Let us stop breeding amongst other close animals because we continue having these problems. I want to say here that uh, in science, there are no two species which can give birth or which can reproduce. That is, where an egg of that species and a sperm of that species would meet and produce an offspring. No two species can reproduce. The only two animals which are different and record of reproduction has been uh, known is the os and the donkey. Those two animals are very closely related although uh, the genotype are different but apparently it has been recorded that they can produce, they can mate and reproduce. But what comes out of that uh, genetic interaction is actually an offspring called a mu. This mu is infertile. It is infertile and it cannot reproduce again with any other animal or even amongst themselves. So I want to spell out dispel the fears that people have in that village, that people have in the county, that a man slept, so to say, with a sheep, and the sheep gave birth to a human being. That cannot happen. Now, further to this, uh, that is why we have introduced in this county the artificial insemination program because apart from controlling or preventing venereal diseases in animals, especially cows or cattle, now that we are doing uh, artificial insemination for cattle, it, also, it is also a way of ensuring that we stop or we reduce chances of malformations in the offsprings that we get. Because uh, in artificial insemination, we use selected, selected uh, semen from specific bulls, and we also keep records to ensure that animals that are closely related or rather in, in the family do not uh, reproduce. Now, we are not doing a division examination in the goats right now, but I can assure the public in the Lakanithi that soon 
will be doing artificial insemination in goats will be available. And I want to say that like, as I talk here, uh, one of our officers I joined other officers in Naivasha through collaboration with Kenya Artificial uh, Kenya Animal Genetic uh, Resource Center or CAGRIC, whom we partner with in the Rakanithi by, for example, having a depot for semen and liquid nitrogen in Chuka. Uh, so those people, what they are doing is planning how very soon we will be able to collect semen from selected bugs, specifically in the Rakanidi. This semen will be packaged at the Kenya Animal Genetic Resource Center in Kabete. It will be repackaged and soon we shall be able to have artificial insemination in daily goats. Therefore, I'm taking this opportunity to request the farmers who may be approached to have their best bags to have semen removed for packaging to cooperate with the team from Kagrik, the team from the Rakanidi Department of Livestock and Fisheries. Thank you very much.